After their final battle, the great hero and the Demon King lost all their powers. Time passed and Blade enrolled at Rosewood Academy with one goal in mind, to make friends and live a normal life. She becomes friends with Ernest, the top student, as he helps her break a curse. He also befriends Sophie, a mock version of himself created to be a replacement for the great hero. Blade later adopts a dragon who transforms into a little girl. He names her Ku. Now the students at Rosewood Academy must fight the dragon Ku to earn her respect and friendship. The battlefield ignites with tension as the students anxiously evade the dragon's fiery breath. In a swift move, Ku's tail takes out another group, asserting her dominance. However, her triumph is short-lived as Ernest retaliates with a powerful fire attack. Rallying their spirits, the students remind everyone of their well-practiced formations, infusing them with renewed determination. The students come together, forming a shield wall that even legendary Uhtred would admire. Yet their defense falters when the dragon's tail strikes, revealing Ku's vulnerability to the students' clever plan of unleashing explosive arrows. Excitement fills the air as Blade witnesses their strategy unfold flawlessly, just as they had practiced countless times before. During the battle, the principal's laughter echoes and Ernest swiftly commands long-range attacks. The students fall back, unleashing a barrage of well-aimed shots upon the dragon. The principal's sharp-eyed assistant notes their focus on Ku's blind spot, a testament to their unity and tactical competence. As the battle progresses, a challenge arises. Ordinary attacks are rendered futile against the dragon's scaly armor. The students' melee attempts are effortlessly thwarted, urging them to seek an alternate strategy. Ku lets out another cry of confidence. On the other hand, the students are frantic as some try to tend to the injured and the rest continue to get attacked as the dragon unleashes a flurry of stomps and fire breaths. Despite the chaos, Blade is observed waiting for something, but the principal predicts the battle will end before his plan takes effect. An unexpected opportunity arises when Sophie lands a very powerful punch on the dragon's face, rocking it, which gives Ernest the chance to charge up her sword and unleash a high-level fire attack. The students cheer as they secure their first exchange since the battle began. Though they have managed to inflict some damage, Gilgamesh remains skeptical of Blade's plan, while the hero himself stays confident and determined. Ku's relentless attacks leave her less aware of her surroundings, setting her up for Leonard's trap that he had been working on since the battle began. Now vulnerable, the dragon falls into the student's plan, and they prepare for a decisive charge to finish her off. However, when Ernest attempts another attack, her sword begins to complain about overuse. Leonard then attempts to assault Ku with his drill weapon, yet it proves ineffective against the dragon's scale. Ku, fed up, tries to escape using her wings, but Ernest knocks her down, and Sophie follows up with the gravity manipulation punch. At this point, the students are determined to land the final blow, but they are all exhausted. With unwavering determination, Ernest gathers the last of her strength, and the students rally together, imbuing her attack with their fighting spirit increasing its potency. The tremendous release of power strikes Ku, causing a massive explosion visible from outside the training ground. The attack forces her back into her human form, signifying her defeat. As the students support each other, Ernest remains vigilant, ready to fend off any surprise attacks. Blade approaches Ku, patting her on the head. Tears begin to gather in the corner of her eyes as she admits defeat, fearing Blade's disappointment and the possibility of abandonment due to her perceived weakness. However, Blade reassures her, declaring that he would never do such a thing. He corrects her, stating that humans are just stronger on this occasion. He asks her to admit her loss, which she does. In a heartwarming moment, she asks everyone to be her friend, and they all unanimously agree embracing her as a newfound ally. Some time passes after the intense battle, and the king is pleased to witness the growth of his students as they harness their fighting spirit and spiritual energies. To further challenge them, the king arranged a special training method, using a virtual reality device powered by a once lost branch of magic called science. He eagerly awaits its completion. Meanwhile, the students enjoy lunch together, Ku is still open to her new friends, but one of the girls is overeager, attempting to feed her. Ku is initially hesitant, but gives in, agreeing only this once. She tastes the food and loves it, 
prompting the girls to shower her with affection, finding her reaction adorable. Blade notices something different about Ernest, and it becomes obvious when she shows everyone. They become tense because they know Blade lacks any social skills. They try to hint to him to change course, but he remains oblivious to the signs. Sophie calls him despicable, and the other girls inform Ernest that she has not changed. Blade objects to their comments and bluntly tells Ernest that she has put on some weight, causing her to get upset and call him a jerk before storming off. The others inform Blade that he was in the wrong, but he doesn't understand his mistake. One of the girls remarks that she wouldn't be surprised if Blade and Sophie's friendship ends due to this. Three days pass and Blade feels depressed because Ernest hasn't come out of her room during that time. He now understands what it means to be through with someone. The girls explain that it means they can't be friends anymore. Panicking, Blade doesn't want to lose his friendship with Ernest. He wants to apologize, but the girls want to make sure he understands what he's apologizing for before he makes things worse. They decide to accompany him to her room to help. They inform Ernest that Blade has come to apologize, but she doesn't respond. One of the girls uses her lockpicking skills to open the door, revealing a pitch black room. They find Ernest hunched over, making a sound, but Koo realizes that she's not crying and joins her as they playfully fight over treats. After turning on the lights, the others are shocked to find that Ernest has become significantly bigger due to continuous munching while in her room. She explains that she started feeling hungry all the time after their battle with Koo and became addicted to the delicious food. Blade asks if they are still friends, and Ernest confirms they are, but she didn't want him to see her in this state. The girls decide to intervene as they know it won't end well for her. The girls try to get Blade to say something nice to Ernest to start the process, but his attempt isn't helpful. Leonard gets knocked out after making a rude comment about her weight. Blade redeems himself by assuring Ernest that everyone will help her through this overeating phase. They begin by having her join them for a run and some exercises, but she struggles. During lunch, she's given a small portion, leading her to question why they are treating her this way. They explain it's to reduce her calorie intake. They try making her sweat off some fat in the sauna, but she ends up getting heavier when she destroys the scale. The following day, Ernest decides to try something drastic to increase her metabolic rate. She enlists Blade's help and prepares a testing ground with a powerful magic barrier for safety. Ernest believes she'll lose weight if her idea works. She calls for her sword to consume her flesh to use its power. The fire engulfs her, and she transforms into a demon-like form with consciousness intact. The demon Asmodeus manifests and is astonished, as no one has attained this form before. Asmodeus thinks she's succumbed to the idea of destroying everything, but Ernest clarifies she is using the form for her diet. It burns an enormous amount of energy, requiring 1 million calories per hour to maintain. This suits her because she doesn't want to jog off the weight. With this form, she can burn fat rapidly. However, all her calories get depleted, causing her to collapse. Hunger takes over, and she briefly loses control, seeing her friends as potential meals. Blade neutralizes her with a high-level move, and she returns to normal, but loses consciousness, commended by Blade for her effort. Not long after, they discover Ernest binge eating again, regaining the weight she had previously lost. She promises them that she will transform into the flame demon once more to shed the excess weight. However, everyone is not impressed with her relapse, expressing their disappointment. Bringing this episode to a close. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure to like, subscribe, and leave a comment for more of this series. Thank you all for your support.